Hello and welcome to another episode of Logic Talks about what the fuck is going wrong with this internet and the humanity in general, the show. And today, we are going to talk about crazy people. In particular, about Nicole Arbor, a YouTuber most popular for her video Dear Fat People, where she pretty much says that she doesn't like fat people. Of course, she got criticized for that from inside and outside YouTube, and she even landed on the news. But she still has about 400,000 subscribers, for some odd reason. But because every human being on YouTube already covered that theme, I'm not gonna talk about that today, because that would be pretty boring. But I want to talk about another video of her, which is not less stupid than the first one. A retarded midget walks into the bar, and it's okay, because it's 1992. But oh, We're all trying to be politically correct so that we don't offend anyone. Maybe that's just me who's really sensible about this, but... Why did she put army music in the background? What does that have to do with the theme? Like, was she just like sitting there like, oh, I'm gonna make a video about, about, about humor and sarcasm and... And I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put fucking army music in the background because that's like, that's how you do it, or what? Or what is that? I don't care if you're offended. If you don't have a sense of humor and you don't understand jokes, I don't give a fuck. To quote my favorite color M&M, the white one. Uh -huh. the, the white one? D did, did you get it? Eminem is white? And, and the white one? Now that is a high quality joke right there. If you don't have humor, uh, I can't help you, sorry, but like, that was hilarious. And, and when you don't like it, fuck you. Fuck you, honestly, that was high class comedy. And, and when you don't get it, you're too fucking stupid for it. You find me offensive? Well, I find you offensive for finding me offensive. Okay, Nicole, listen right here. That makes no sense at all. Keyboard warriors are trying to murder comedy. You need to learn that we all don't need to fucking care about your feelings. I'm glad that you're trying to kill comedy, because it makes the bloodbath of fucking awesome I'm bringing self-motherfucking defense, yo. I don't know if you understood the concept of self-defense, but it doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't work like that at all. And just because someone doesn't like what you do, and it doesn't mean that everything you do after that is automatically self-defense. Um, I think everybody knows that, but it's just completely motherfucking stupid, yo. Everything is really offensive. Bitch, you trying to kill comedy? I'm gonna kill you first. Oops, sorry. I learned that from black people in movies. Nicole, that's so offensive! I didn't teach myself that. Murders on the news for ratings, that's offensive! Okay, at this point I don't even know what she's talking about anymore because she has so many cuts and then suddenly a different theme and I don't even know what's going on, sorry. You wanna know what's offensive? Rat tails. No, they're not offensive, they're fucking ugly, but that's about it. Everybody can look as ugly as they want to and even though if people don't like it, and I don't like it, it's not offensive, no, and I think you use the word offensive in a kind of wrong way. I can't believe those were ever a thing. We just want to make sure everyone knows Johnny's from a low-income family. People starving in a country with more than enough food. If you don't know what a rat tail is, it's a piece of hair at the back, like near the nape, that you let grow long, and sometimes you braid it. It usually means you live in a trailer, or your parents beat each other in front of you. I don't know what's going on. What is, on, what is going on in your heart, Nicole? What are you doing there? What is that? Is that supposed to be people beating each other up? Or what? Yeah. Childhood obesity! That is offensive! There's no reason for a little kid to be a freaking chubby chub chub! Uh, but Nicole, some people have thyroid issues. Did someone rename McDonald's an ice cream thyroid? Because I didn't, I missed the memo. <sighs> they, they did? Oh, okay, yeah, you're right, they have a thyroid issue. You have to be really fucking slow to be offended by satire. Yeah, honestly, how, how fucking slow are you? No, I didn't mean you, Nicole. You're, you're a clever girl. A really clever girl. But I have a tip. You shouldn't call people slow when you're not the brightest light in the lamp shop yourself. Charlotte, I'm pregnant again. You're what? <laughs> It's a cycle. 
Like the circle of life. In case you didn't know what the circle of life is, it says that everything goes back to what it comes from. So what comes from dirt goes back to dirt. What the fuck has that to do with your video in any universe, in any time at all? Stupid people making more babies than they can feed. Take a home in I'm just following what I was taught, yeah. I'm just following what I was taught, yeah. When you're sitting there and asking yourself why she's singing now, don't ask me, I have no clue. But Nicole, when that's all you were taught yet, then I'm feeling actually really bad for you. Hey keyboard warriors, nobody likes you. Nobody. Like, nobody. Everybody should be equally made fun of. Straight guy, or a black guy, or a white guy, or a skinny girl, or a hot girl. I didn't expect that to happen, but that's actually a point where I agree with her. Because when you make jokes of everybody, just not fat people, just not black people, or whatever, then you exclude them. And then you say we don't make jokes about them because they're different. And that is racism. Everybody's throwing their cards in the air like it's a Pokemon tournament at the Parkinson's hospital. I didn't mean to do that. My kids will live in a world where people can use stereotypes for funny jokes. We're saying things that are true about the world. It's not offensive, it's just fucking truth. And if you can't handle the truth, it means you're a psychopath. The Simpsons is massively successful because it is based on a billion stereotypes. Stereotypes are funny because they're true. They weren't based on nothing. No, no, they're not. No, they're not fucking funny, no. Um, jokes about stereotypes can be funny because it's... Because they have something true in it, not always, but mostly. But they're, they're not funny themselves, no. Italian people make a lot of pizzas and say papa de poopy. They also get really mad and angry over nothing, especially bocce. You kick up my ball. I didn't kick your ball. I saw you kick up my ball. I definitely didn't kick your ball. And then he dives on the floor and pretends he got hurt because that's what Italians do. Ah. You know when you like go on your friend's Facebook wall to correct their spelling? Yeah, they fucking hate you. If someone says they only sleep with black guys, that doesn't mean they're racist against white people. That means they have a fucking preference. They also have a big vagina. Once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> cause it fucking hurts. It's funny, cause it's true. No, I have to use this again. You know how when you like jump into the comment sections and think you're starting, uh, yeah, I'm fucking, you're doing nothing. Nothing for the world, nothing, nothing. You think you're really savage, don't you? Everybody's worried about terrorism, but keyboard warriors are the new terrorists. Go eat your Cheetos and jerk off to anime. They just get in there and murder anything remotely fun. Okay, 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 okay. Why did the chicken cross the road? Oh, I find this joke offensive already. Did I watch the end of this joke? No. I'm not personally a chicken, but I've met some chickens and they would really fucking hate this joke. What? My dad works in construction and that joke about the road is really offensive. What? You whore. You stupid filthy whore. You were gonna die. Kill yourself. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't like my chicken joke? Suck my cock. I really blame teachers for this. Don't offend anyone. Everybody gets to win and no peanuts in class or Billy will die. Only little kids are named Billy. I swear to God. I've met a ton of little Billies, but only one adult Billy. What happens to Billies? Do all Billies die? No. No, they're not dead. Um, don't be scared, they're not dead. You don't have to be sad or anything. There's something called name trends. That means that names have trends and for 10 years there are more Pauls and the next 10 years there are more Peters in the world just because certain names are in fashion. The fucking Billies didn't die. No. You don't like my jokes? Um... Sorry, I'm just looking for some fucks to you. Now that was some quality ass humor for you right there. For free. I don't like your attitude. We're fucking even. So sit your ass back down at the kids' table and eat your fucking nuggets before I tell your dad the shit you say to strangers on the internet. And then he beats you. Like he does your mom. At Scrabble. Oh, you're almost so offended! In case you don't know what that feeling is, you just got roasted by this absolute savage. When you see this woman on the street, run. Because she's gonna roast you so hard that you will fall in deep depression and probably kill yourself. We all need to stop giving a fuck about the people who are angry on the internet about nothing. They are not the people we need to be taking social cues from. Homelessness in countries where people have massive wealth, offensive. Blonde girls making a cute university video, not offensive. Actually, homeless people can be pretty offensive. Want a true fucked up story? Here we go. A couple weeks ago, I'm crossing a super busy intersection in Toronto, and a homeless man stands up and starts crossing the street. It was not his turn to cross, so I was like, oh no, homeless guy. He's just fucking moseying. 
and staring me straight in the eyes. He looks at me, I look at him, he looks at the driver that's about to hit him. He looks at me, he looks at him, he looks at the driver. Okay, I'm gonna stop that right here because at this point the story still sounds somehow realistic. But what she's now gonna do is is what we call bullshitting. And I I actually just wanted to warn you. It's not that you won't realize it if I don't warn you, because it's pretty obvious, but I'm I'm i I'm just helping, you know. He's looking dead in my eyes, pulls down his pants, pees, and just as we thought the horror was finished, he looks at me, turns around, squats, and starts shitting. I'm like, the driver of the car's like, we look at each other like, <laughs> and I did what any normal human in this day and age would do, I pulled out my cell phone. Because I was like shaking, laughing, terrified, about to throw up so much I could barely get a photo. I think I sent it to my friend. Shitting in the middle of the road while looking at me, that is offensive. If my future kid turns out gay, that's fine. Transgender, sure. But if they're one of those little assholes who type rude comments on other people's videos, disown! Yeah, and it doesn't matter well, if they're racist, if they're the hoodies, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, I don't care, but when they fucking comment on videos, that's it. That's fucking it. I I'm just gonna leave them out in the woods straight away, because that doesn't live in my... People like that don't live in my house. No. We get it, you didn't get enough love as a kid, blah 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 blah, typey typey, shut it. Remember, only you can help save comedy for the future generations. So please type stupid shit freely, write nonsense, share ridiculous posts, and make fun of your friends equally. Because an entire generation that's scared to make jokes is a generation of pussies. And not the nice kind. Thank and Nicole, in case you're watching this, but I don't believe please send me the picture of the shitting hobo. I really want to see it. So, like, could be. When that actually happened, please send me the picture. And to the rest, draw your conclusions yourself. I'm not going to make an outro. Fuck you.